after the microburst during yesterday's storm, the Nyssa, Oregon community is coming together to clean up the destruction. Our Abby Wilt is live at a home that was damaged yesterday. Abby, how is it looking today? Morgan, the weather is certainly looking better here today than it was yesterday, but as you can see, the damage is still really bad. I've been speaking with this homeowner behind me. As you can see, half of his roof is completely off and this tree is completely down. He told me that he was inside of that house during the storm yesterday. He said him and his dog were inside and they just didn't even know where to go because the whole roof was being blown off. He also told me that these onion crops that I'm standing in, they used to be about two feet high. Now they're completely damaged. So he's telling me that there's definitely going to be a long road ahead for these um, folks in Nyssa. For Jose Diegos, his Thursday is looking a bit different than he expected. We're here to get the job done. He's now at his uncle's house, which got severely damaged by the storms in Nyssa Wednesday. This is the damage of death. But we got lucky because, you know, we have Chad's house. Several trees fell down in his yard, including this one. Chad says it was over 100 years old. The roof also blew off Chad's shed. His RV in the driveway blew over completely sideways and debris flew from his house and his neighbor's houses into their crops. Jose says now there's a long recovery process ahead. We'll start cutting the small branches, the thick ass trees, little logs. We'll carry out by hand. And Jose says 12 volunteers are heading to Chad's house this evening to help with the process. Something that many Nyssa residents are doing, helping each other out. One thing I love about the Nyssa community is when things like this happen, they come out. Nyssa Police Chief Don Below says the community has really shown up in the last 24 hours to help each other out. I was out yesterday pulling tree limbs out of the road and doing everything else along with everybody else. The fire department went door to door to every resident in Nyssa this morning to make sure they were all okay, and Idaho Power was making rounds to every neighborhood to make sure power was restored for them by Thursday. <laughs> Oregon Construction Management also arrived in Nyssa Thursday morning to start helping. I was at my house yesterday when the storm was happening, and then an hour later, I got called in for work because I didn't think it would be this bad. The team started at South Park, trimming branches and clearing them, and then moved to Nyssa Elementary School to start cleanup efforts there. They say they're going to keep going until the job is done. The community's great, um, and I can't thank them enough for doing stuff like that. It just helps us, makes our job so much easier. And I've been able to see that community coming together to support each other, just being here for the day. I've seen the residents on this road coming and checking in on each other, knocking on each other's doors, making sure that everyone is healing together from the last 24 hours that they've experienced together. So it's definitely been scary for them, but they all seem to have a pretty good attitude in moving forward and healing together from this. Morgan? Yeah, very, very scary situation. Abby, I'm sure they really appreciate you going out there and following up on that. The storm downed trees, damaged windows, and destroyed summer crops at True Roots Farms in Nyssa, a family-run business. The farm owner's mom started a GoFundMe to help the farm recover. To find the link, visit yesterday's Eastern Oregon storm coverage on our website, ktvb.com.